Hi, welcome to SBR TV. I'm Peter Loshak with a special report regarding the recent seizures by the U.S. government of the domain names of the popular sports betting sites Bookmaker, DSI, BedEd, and several others, as well as the poker site Doyle's Room. The Office of Homeland Security Investigations in Baltimore, Maryland, which is part of the Maryland State Police, opened up an undercover payment processing business two years ago called Linwood Payment Solutions, which enabled them to gain access to top online gambling site managers and discuss the internet gambling business and payment processing business in general. The state admission of the Homeland Security and Investigations Bureau of Maryland is to achieve public safety by improving the quality of life for the citizens of Maryland. So they set up an undercover internet gambling payment processor to improve the quality of life for the citizens of Maryland by ridding the state of online gambling websites. Along with the domain name seizures, 11 bank accounts were seized and three people were charged with money laundering, two residents of Canada and one a resident of Costa Rica. At SBR, we haven't heard any response as yet from BedEd, Doyle's Room, or any of the other seized sites, but Bookmaker was notably quick to release a statement essentially saying that everything is business as usual, that all player funds are safe, and that no accounts will be affected. They also expressed the belief that the domain name bookmaker.com will be eventually returned to them, uh, although they didn't indicate the reasoning why. Bookmaker has directed their players to temporarily use a new URL to access their accounts and Bookmaker's betting platform. That new URL is www.bmaker.ag. I personally also spoke to the general manager at Bookmaker briefly, where he reiterated everything in the release statement, and he also told me that they'll have a downloadable product ready for release for the sportsbook, casino, and racebook ready in about a day or so. I also asked him about accounts with DSI, and he told me for DSI accounts, it's all the same as with Bookmaker accounts. So for the time being, Bookmaker seems not terribly ruffled by what went down today. As for the other sites named in the indictment, we're still waiting to hear how their accounts and operations will be affected. For more information, go to sbrforum.com, where there will be up-to-the-minute updates on all of this in both the Players Talk Forum and the Sportsbook and the Industry Forum. For SBR TV, I'm Peter Loshak.